Did you ever think about how many cardboard boxes are being produced in a year to satisfy the online ordering process? Have you ever thought about how much paper and cardboard needs to be produced? Well, the fiber industry met a tremendous change. After fiber industry had been fearing since the number of newspapers printed went down because people started to read online, they were fearing that this business is not needed anymore or is really tremendously going down. But what happened? Online services. We did not go shopping into the pedestrian zones and into the malls. We just sit on our couch and order online what we want and it's being delivered to our house. Of course, it needs some coverage. Well, we do have an expert here today. Um, he's business development at Stora Enso. And I would like to welcome up on stage, Will Voipo. <laughs> Hi, Will. Uh, Will, how are you doing? Very good. Thank you, you Kristen, for um, introducing me. Of course, you came here from Helsinki. Yes, this morning, and yeah. I will be staying um, till Wednesday and then fly back. Okay, perfect. So um, your presentation is about intelligent packaging services. Intelligent packaging, that is true. Okay, so intelligent packaging. I, intelligent packaging to me is a challenge like for Christmas or when somebody has a birthday to pack a package really in nicely and intelligent. Yeah, it's not that actually, but uh, something similar, but not about the wraps. That no, we are going to okay, talk about. but but what does it make so intelligent with the packaging? What is that? Yeah, so we are going to see in the future, and right away are currently seeing that packages are getting intelligent. Um, it's made by RFID technology. RFID is uh, tapped on a on a package, and then you can interact with the smartphone with the package, and then the supply chain can also know where the packages are. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you see, it's not just about that you wrap something and cover up something. We're going in details now, and I think I let the stage for the expert, and I'm going to ask you about Stora Enzo and the company where you come from and work from later on. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So welcome, my name is Ville Voipu. I'm from a company called Stora Enzo. Um, like it uh, uh, says or, or shows, we are uh, from background, we are, we are paper company. We are a formerly forestry company, and we are more and more packaging company. So I will be talking to uh, you about intelligent connected packaging. The idea there is that it will be enabled uh, Industry 4.0, something that is quite widely uh, spoken here today. So just uh, quick words about our company. We are leading provider of our sustainable solutions. Uh, we have 26,000 employees in 35 countries. We are a global company. Uh, uh, our turnover is 10 billion euros, and we are uh, a big one of the players in packaging all in all. We are headquartered in Helsinki, uh, but we work globally. In Stura Enso, uh, packaging is, like I said, it's the biggest business area, and, um, and we see that uh, packaging is getting intelligent and digitized. So we established a business area called Intelligent Packaging. Um, we developed actually several years, six, seven years, the technology, and last three years we've been doing commercializations. With intelligent packaging, we focus on three verticals. We look into medical technologies, uh, retail, consumer packaged goods, and manufacturing area. All of these are businesses where, it's, where, it's, where there's a lot of uh, product uh, flows and package, package flows, and companies really benefit uh, by being efficient managing those, those product flows. In these uh, three verticals, we uh, focus on making sustainable RFID technology. So uh, uh, we have roadmap uh, creating tags that are uh, fiber-based and are, are most sustainable as possible. Uh, we make solutions to make supply chain connected and digital. And we are really focusing on the last mile uh, deliver with unmanned cabins. Something that is in, the, in China and Asia is called a new retail. So what is intelligent packaging? Intelligent packaging is connecting with RFID tags, uh, packages and products, uh, so that the consumer can interact with, uh, with, the, with the product using the smartphone. So smartphones, both Android and, and uh, iPhone, are reading NFC uh, tags. And not only that, uh, we are also using RFIDs to 
connect the supply chain um, into connected uh, uh, ecosystem. And by doing that, the business gets much more efficient. Um, RFID technology, many of you have heard about it uh, 10, 15 years ago, and it was tested and tried out, and it was uh, realized that it doesn't really work, it's too expensive, and uh, there's too much of troubles. But what we are seeing today is that it's, it's really picking up. And I will be talking about that. So um, since my uh, focus was on Industry 4.0, and we realized that the whole uh, Messa here is, is talking about uh, Industry 4.0. Uh, how is what is the relationship with the uh, intelligent packaging of Industry 4.0? And the way that we see is that uh, uh, the the gate to get make any uh, business operation uh, smart and 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 utilize um, um, uh, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, you need a wealth of data, uh, real time data. Uh, if you have the real-time data and wealth of it, you're able to do data analytics and build applications on top of it. Uh, connectivity is, is, is a way for you to get data from your business flows. Um, you would need data on machines. There is a big theme on Smart Factory, which is, which is about connecting the machinery on, on, um, on internet, being able to um, uh, operate them better. But then the other part is really the flows. How do you manage the business flows and the, the, the product flows? So what we are saying is that when you are applying RFIDs on the products and packages, you are really able to do it. And once you do it, you are able to create uh, uh, AI on top of it. So RFID, like I said, uh, I think in this audience, all of you are quite familiar with the term. It was uh, uh, picking up the 10, 15 years ago. Uh, it's a technology that is able you to read a tag 20 meters away. Without line of sight, you are able to read 600 products in a second. There's two types of, it, RFID, uh, of RFID, is the NFC for smartphones and the, and the UHF for, for uh, professional supply chain uh, reading. And I think the bottom line here is that the product identification is moving from optical reading to, uh, to radio technology. Um, last fall, uh, Gardner was just uh, nominating RFID being um, the most relevant technology in, in, um, in transportation and logistics. Uh, uh, which is one of the fields with RFID is being used. So what they're saying is that it's, it's the current technology um, and it's ready to be used. There's clear reasons why optical reading is uh, going uh, to be um, uh, renewed with uh, radio technology. Uh, uh, on, on several areas, you, you see the benefits why radio technology uh, is more, more of the technology that helps you automate a lot of your operations. Uh, comparing to traditional barcodes. Um, what is important maybe on, on RFIDs and radio technology is not only the reading uh, automation, the, the speed and the, the ability to, to read it without line of sight, but also the connectivity to, 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 uh, to internet. So a lot of the cloud solutions and, uh, and, um, uh, and intelligence is, is built on, on that data that you are able to acquire from RFID tag. RFID has been uh, quite closely studied by uh, many, uh, several um, uh, consultancies. Here is uh, one from retail distribution uh, environment. Uh, there were six uh, KPIs followed on, um, uh, on RFID before the RFID utilizes and after RFID utilizations. And they were able to um, uh, realize that there is six, 11 to 60% improvement in, in, um, um, in all of the KPIs, depending on the KPI. The other area would be then the manufacturing use cases, which are quite similar. You are getting uh, um, payback in, in typically in, in two years. The RRR is over 20%, and the figures are quite positive. But how do you actually do the intelligent packaging? How do you implement, implement the technology? First of all, quite obviously, you need the business case. Uh, the use case, that, that kind of makes a lot of sense. You are able to quantify and evaluate that it, uh, it fits to the business. Um, but Quite uh, soon after that, you need to understand what is the data strategy that you are implementing, what kind of data you need, what is the resolution of the data, how often the package needs to be read so that it makes sense, uh, how granular the data should be. Should it be pallet level data, the uh, transport box level data, or the product level data? And once you have uh, laid the foundations uh, uh, with the first two steps, 
you are really getting onto technology, selecting what is the tag that you need, how do you integrate the, the tag on, on high volumes, the packages, how do you build the connectivity, uh, and how do you take the data to cloud and then forward on, on to applications. And once you have the technology part clear, then of course it is about testing, 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 making sure that it really works, um, uh, and then gradually starting the implementation and finally uh, taking care of the maintenance. But it's the centerpiece of all of this is the RFID uh, tag. Uh, the tag prices are today a couple of cents when they used to be uh, 10 euros, uh, 5 euros still. Uh, uh, still in the, in the starting point, so the, the prices have come down significantly. And similarly, the, the reading has improved a lot. So in Sturan, so we, uh, we develop a lot of the technology in Tampere, where we have a, uh, I'd say, globally unique RFID technology center uh, for packaging. It was opened last year. Uh, we manage our IPR on, on that site. We uh, test the technology for all the products we do. do we do a lot of the technical design from there and the hardware and software are coming together in that side. So intelligent packaging maybe uh, is something that companies are more and more seeing as a platform. And we are, one thing, we are of course, one of the providers for that platform. Uh, you start with the tags like spoken. You, uh, you need the machinery to, um, with your converting partners maybe to, to place the RFIDs and products. You need, read, you need the reading infrastructure, then the cloud, and finally you are able to take the data to uh, applications. And aside of it, there's a lot of uh, consultative work that you are doing on your own or, or with, your, with your partner. So uh, what is so uh, important about this technology? Is it's quite well known. Um, uh, the, the thing is that it's quite simple technology, but all the pieces must work really uh, well together. Uh, we are talking about really high volumes where the cost is important factor and sustainability. Uh, we as a company, we want to drive the sustainability agenda and make the, the, the processes and the businesses more uh, friendlier to, to our society. But then again, uh, not only the tag, but you need the applicator that manages the data and take, take, take care of the quality control, uh, et cetera. So uh, there's lots of these bits and pieces that are put together in a, in a, in a full solution. And companies are really using the RFID to connect with, uh, with, the, uh, with the customer, build the digital solutions on, 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 uh, on top of it to protect the brand with, uh, with the anti-counterfeit, and finally um, improve the supply chain. Supply chain is something uh, uh, quite, I think, topical and something where companies typically start. And therefore, I also start going through a bit the supply chain point of view. First of all, when um, RFID is taken into use, companies often uh, are wanting to make a um, helicopter view on their business. They want to make real-time view on what's on what side, uh, what's on currently in transition, uh, what is the current state of the supply chain, and really get the visibility on, the, on where the products are. So they would be talking about the network. How, how does the network work, and where are the, the inefficiency gaps that must be cured? Um, aside of helicopter view, there's an increasing interest, of course, uh, in these companies on the floor level of view on production units. Uh, how the products are coming to the site, where they are going, um, uh, when they are going. So that you would implement RFID to track uh, products that come in and that go out, the, uh, track the, the, the spaces they are taking in, in, a, in a warehouse, etc. Manage the returns and, and, and so on. So there is micro and micro view on, on utilizing the RFID. Quite importantly, uh, the, the last mile is something that uh, Companies often uh, find value. Uh, last miles can be in hospitals. So the uh, consumables uh, provide um, uh, items to hospitals that are, are like uh, small cities. Uh, you have a lot of product flows that you have to be able to uh, uh, securely um, uh, manage. Um, same with the industries and same actually with the retail. Um, in all of these, you are more and more talking about the unmanned solutions. So how are you able to distribute the items without having people really there um, maneuvering the operations, and how do you uh, keep the, the data correct in, in, um, in your cloud. So smart VMI is something that is, uh, for instance, in hospitals and industries coming really uh, dominantly through. This, uh, lastly, I think uh, two um, 
takeouts that I, I think that are important with RFID. One is the uh, strategic task that is able to provide, provide for companies on providing competitiveness. There's three uh, elements, the, being able to drive the uh, cost levels down, being able to service the, uh, the customers better, and, and uh, 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 lastly, man maneuver the inventories. And typically, you would benchmark your operations with the best one in the field, and you would be able to start uh, gradually getting uh, closer and closer to the best, po uh, uh, best uh, players in the, in the field with, um, with utilizing RFID. The other uh, takeout, of course, is, is more of a visionary. Uh, we realized this uh, from a famous Porter study, uh, which is pretty much saying that uh, all the operations are becoming more and more smart. And it's not only enough that you have the product that are smart, but you have to be participating smart ecosystems. And this is, um, I think, the second important part that uh, RFID is able to provide you. So you are able to uh, participate uh, digital ecosystems that are emerging in, in, in various industries. OK, that's my quick presentation on intelligent packaging. Christina, do you feel it was more clear after these 18 slides? Yes, I am. I am more clear about it, but still intelligent packaging. To me, it's wrapping things or to open it and find it nicely. But of course, your business is definitely a good one. Um, I mean, Will, you're coming from Finland, and this is where Stora Enso is based. Uh, yes, so we are headquartered in Helsinki in Finland. We, uh, we are um, Finnish Swedish company, so uh, Stora is the Swedish part, and it's, uh, according to our uh, information, it's the oldest company in the world from, 20, uh, from 1200. Uh, starting as a mining company and then transformed to a forestry company. Okay, so like Nokia is famous for its rubber boots and then they started and went big with mobile phones. Yeah, so and now we are taking the stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you've been working with Siemens for quite a while. Yeah, that is true. Uh, we actually work on the, on the fiber business area that you have. And you've worked se or satisfiedly working, have it, been working it, it's with us? It's been great collaboration like being here today, but, uh, but honestly speaking, uh, we started our RFIDs by first making our own operations connected. So we are tagging all the, 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 the pulp units and we are uh, tracking also the, the, the paper rolls, etc. So we started with our own business. That's, that's what I had in mind when, when I heard Stora Enso. I just remembered from the paper production, but there is a lot more involved nowadays with digitalization than just manufacturing and producing. Yeah, we are trans transforming as a digital company, like similar way like many of the industrial companies today. Very impressive. So thank you very thank much you. for coming here, taking really the effort of flying in from Helsinki in order to present at our stage. Sure. Um, we are very happy that you took that burden and happy customer, happy Siemens employees, yeah. happy company. Good. Thank you for inviting. Thank you very much for day. being here. Thank you. Big Bye -bye. hand of applause to you.